Let's talk about Gary Patterson right quick. And you and I have not hit on this yet, but Gary Patterson has been officially hired as a consultant, advisor, whatever. He's supposed to be an off-the-ball or off-the-field uh, analyst or coach, whatever, assistant to the head coach at Texas. And one, it's not... The, the connection makes it not super surprising, right? Because Chris Del Conte is the uh, athletics director at Texas. He was the AD that actually got Texas into the... Or, sorry, TCU into the Big 12. So that connection... Uh, has been there for a long, long, long time. But what made this move possible, because everybody knows how much Gary Patterson hated Texas. He hated Hook'em. He hates the Longhorns, all that. But when you feel like you have been slighted by the place that you have given your entire career to, for the most part, uh, that's what makes a move like this possible, right? Because it, we all know how amped up he got his program for that Texas game. They beat Texas more than anybody else in the Big 12 other than maybe Oklahoma. And even then, I think he had a better record against Oklahoma. I was about Oklahoma. to say, yeah. I, would, I would go look at those numbers. Yeah, Some I think he had a better record. Some of beat Texas a lot. I mean, beat Oklahoma a lot. Yes. And so TCU, I mean, they got up for that. And, and we also know that they rarely covered before the Texas game and after the Texas game. Everything was about that Texas game for TCU for a very, very long time because Gary Patterson wanted – to shove it right up their ass every time, every time he played them. And now he is going to work for Steve Sarkeesian, and Texas definitely needs some defensive help, right? Like, TCU wasn't great this year on defense, but we all know what kind of a defensive mind Gary Patterson actually has. Uh, this is, I think this move is specifically vitriol towards TCU. Do you kind of feel the same way? Oh, this is 100%. This guy's going to work three weeks a year. And it's <laughs> three weeks leading up to TCU. Yes, I think you're right. I think you're right. Do you think there's any chance they keep him off the field? This is another one of those, like, the Billick move. We were just talking about analysts, and they're not supposed to be on-field coaches. Oh, oh, no, 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 like, no, no. Like, okay, <laughs> he'll never officially be uh, a coach on the field unless they get tired and want to fire Sark. And uh, and then he'll probably be the, the head coach that they name until they hire somebody else, like the interim guy. But, but officially, he'll never be that title. But, no, he's 100% going to coach every day. That's what these guys do. Because the people who make these rules are morons, and they're cowards, and they're toothless. What are they going to do? Uh, well, the NCAA is completely restructuring, so I, I don't know of anybody that's going to come after them. You know? No, nobody's <laughs> going after anybody. And, and here's the thing. I don't have a problem with them not coming after you. I just want to make sure it's all across the board. Like, why have rules that you can't enforce? Agreed. Agreed 100%. 100%. But I uh, I do I do love this. It was really, really weird. When you see the pictures of Gary Patterson wearing official Texas gear, I mean, it's, it's got the longhorn right there on his, uh, on his pullover. I mean, it's just the weirdest thing you've ever seen, if you know what you know about Gary Patterson, right, which is how much yeah. he despised that program for the longest time. Um but, you know, he, he respects Chris Del Conte. He, he respects CDC. And, you know, I, you, you get an opportunity to go and play against TCU every year, uh, at least for a little while, because, it you know, obviously Texas will be moving over to the SEC sooner than later, we suppose. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, you, you'll get a couple opportunities, we believe, to go after TCU, and that should be interesting. I, I cannot wait for the matchup this year. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.